The German election results have stirred up a divided public reaction. Angela Merkel secured her fourth term as chancellor, but it's been somewhat overshadowed by the success of the right-wing Alternative for Germany party, which earned its first ever seats in the Bundestag. Well, while some experts blame Angela Merkel for the rise of the EFD, others didn't hesitate to blame it on the now infamous Russian hackers. Although the media failed to find evidence that they in any way influenced the election, that absence of hacking got everyone suspicious. Well, Jacqueline Vug has been taking a look at the wider claims against supposed Russian online interference in foreign elections. The Russian meddling predictions fell flat when it came to the German election, despite the initial hysteria. We don't see that Putin has meddled in the election campaign. Maybe they didn't try. Maybe it's still coming. Allegations of Russian-controlled automated accounts promoting AFD hashtags in the run-up to the vote was about as sinister as it got. And the head of the German Federal Election Committee even felt confident enough to tell a Russian news agency there was no evidence of interference. But when it comes to last year's U.S. presidential election, it seems neither time nor lack of proof can stem the flow of allegations of Kremlin meddling. That's despite a Stanford University study demonstrating that false stories weren't the reason for Hillary's loss and that the two most believed fake news stories were in fact pro-Clinton articles. Our data suggests that social media were not the most important source of election news. For fake news to have changed the outcome of the election, a single fake article would need to have had the same persuasive effect as 36 television campaign ads. Nevertheless, fears of Russian meddling seem to be mounting, most recently in the upcoming Catalan independence referendum that has infuriated the Spanish government. According to some, Russia is once again lurking in the background and pulling the strings. One of the most circulated daily newspapers in Spain has come to that not-so-surprising conclusion. And our channel is one of the main targets of the article. We're accused of running stories about the situation in Catalonia 42 times since the end of August. Not sure why a news channel reporting news is so alarming, but yes, apparently, they counted. They also claim that one of our headlines that reads the EU will respect the Catalan referendum is out-and-out -out fake news. But respect is exactly what the European Commission president said. If there were to be a yes vote uh, in favor of Catalan independence, uh, then we will respect that uh, opinion. So it's unclear what their issue is. The Kremlin's position on the matter is also to be found in the piece, stating that the issue of Catalan independence is one for Spain to address. But it seems such denials coming from Moscow don't matter to those pushing an increasingly shaky narrative. Every time the elites of whichever country feels that there might be some sort of populist revolt or a vote against what the elites think they should be voting for, they almost uh, proactively say, oh, it must be Russia interfering in these elections because they might get a, a result that they don't want. But it's crazy because we have seen time and time and time again there is no evidence of Russian hacking.